Hello boys and girls and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by DevTuts, aka MTD BTC. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be carrying on from our UDK level. Um, up to now I've been a little bit sort of making it up, really. I know, I confess. But now I know what I'm doing because I had a fantastic idea earlier. You may not find it a fantastic idea but I thought it was quite a nice idea. Um, I'm going to be making sort of like a mock-up situation where it's like um, Call of Duty Zombies levels where it's just an arena and you get bots spawn and every round it you know hold on let's think about this there's an increase in the amount of bots basically so it'll get more difficult and more difficult and it'll run for you and try and kill you now, um, to start off, we're going to finish off from where we left off, which is cutting out all the different bits and pieces. So this little area here for our staircase onto the ceiling, and we're going to work our way from the top downwards. So, first of all, we're going to want to cut out a hole. That is... $520, I think that was. 512, actually, wait, no, 554 by 32 to start off with. So, right click on the box. I can't remember that number already. 544. That's 32. This is this bit here. 288. Oh, yeah, one too many. Build it and shove it in there and just drag that across. And then, yes, and then, and then, we're going to drag that point in so it sort of coincides with that nice 45 degree angle there. And then we can kind of geometry mode. I'm going to take control S or the subtract button just here. We've got a nice little subtraction here. Now we're just going to quickly want to do the only adding we're going to be doing in this level. No, uh, sorry, tutorial. And that is to do the staircase. Now we just build the staircase and drag it down here. You can see that that's way too small. And I think probably 16 stairs or steps would be enough. But it's not. We need one more. As you can see. This is where our player would end up, and that's a gap of 32, and we can't climb up a gap of 32 UDK units, so we're just going to add one more unit, you know, a step rather, and just drag it back. And there it is. We can get up that nice and easily, and we're just going to drag that into the middle here. But that's not enough, it's not wide enough. So we need to gonna measure that gap, that whole gap. 352. So the step width is 352. Boom. Build it. CSG add. Now we can close this and that. We'll just double check that that's okay. Goody goody good. And looks to me as if it is. And let's roll with the next bit then. Um, then we're going to want to add doorways for the upper floor. So to do that, let's to look down on top of it, there's, you know, it's quite busy from the top down view, whoops. So we're going to want to hide the bottom floor so we can work on the top, so, shit. Um, we come across to here, and hit this hide selected. Oh, I added a Right, okay, sorry, I thought I'd done something there, but I hadn't. It's all good. That's wrong. So we're going back over to the QB Builder brush, and we're going to want to work out the properties that are...
That's 515 for the X. Uh, 288 for Y. No, that's definitely not right. That's 32, that one. And this one is 298. No, it's not. It's too big. So we're going to make it smaller. 256 will be the size of the whole thing, I believe. Yep. So if I just drag that across here and then work out from there downwards is 224. So we can change that to that. Hit that. Done. Okay, so now we can whack a subtractive brush in there. And then we're going to keep these dimensions for each of the doors. They're not really doors, they're sort of just sort of holes, really. We can drag that one a little further down. Hit Control S or the subtractive button over here. I'm going to add all the verticals first. So this is quite easy, and now we're going to add all the horizontal ones, so rotate it 90 degrees, and carry on doing the same thing, I'm going to add one here, um, one there, and then one there just to the sort of offset side, like that, and we're done, I think, we can get around there, the whole place, without just have a little bit of a fly through, yep, we can do that, that's easy, it's nice and easy to get about, right, okay, so we can move on to the next bit now, and that's adding the hole for the staircase for the bottom floor. So we need to come down to here and hit this shovel button. And then grab the marquee selection and just select the whole top lot except from the sort of ceiling of the bottom and hide that lot. So now we can see the bottom nice and easily. And um Actually, wait, we can't do that just yet. We need to add the staircase. So, the staircase is going to go here just before this subtractive brush. In fact, I'm going to move that subtractive brush up a little bit. There you go. So, we can get a nice staircase in there that goes from this point to this point, and you can get to it from this side. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a go with that. So the height of it is 256, so we can get a normal staircase of oops, eight steps. And rotator 270 degrees. So we need to get it from the top, just like that. You know, like that. So we add it another 90. We just get it over here. Right, and then we're going to change the step width back to 200 and 320. Like 320, not 32. Sorry about that. Right, carrying on. And of course, because that only reaches that, so we're going to want to add another 8 steps to make it 16, to make it um, easy to get to, but that also means we're going to have to drag it back just before the door, right, now this doesn't work out very well because obviously I wasn't thinking about what I was doing when I was making the bottom floor, I just made a nice little 
navigatable bottom floor, but it's not very navigatable now. So we just drag the whole top layer and hit hide selected. Add that static list and drag it out the way. And we're going to create like a boxing wall that closes it off so we can get to the stairs from this thing here and you've got this room on its own so we're going to get the cube hit build so we've got a square builder brush and because I want to create a variation of different tools and techniques of how you can do things in UDK. I'm going to do this in geometry mode. Drag that up, so like 32 units just before the. So if we went and change that to 3264, just snap that to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight that edge and split it. Did we split that? No, we didn't. Split. Go a marquee selection and put that just before the door, at uh, the staircase. And then we're going to go all the way over here and select that edge and extrude it. Then come out of extrusion mode, go back to edit, and then we're going to lift, oh yeah, lift the whole brush to fill that gap and just make it a tiny bit higher. And then add it. And that should have created a nice little box around our staircase. Right, okay, so from there, we can now add a subtracted brush. And so we go back into this, um, build that because I like it. And then go into the geometry mode and make it the right length. But you can see that's a little bit out, so that's better. So we're just going to drop our snapping grid so we can get it onto that point which is on 8 like it was before and done so now we can just hit subtract no we can't because I didn't change the width of the bloody thing Now I've changed the width of it, so it'll actually fit. Just bring it in here, so we don't cut into the walls. We can now subtract. And delete that other subtraction brush that I made earlier, and it's no good to us. And you can see we've got a little bit of a problem there, so third. We've got a little bit of a gap there, it's 32 units. So. We're going to want to add another step to that, so we delete that brush, come back over to here, and if you haven't closed and opened UDK since this, then you won't have to change the values back. Right click on the linear staircase and just add 17 steps like we had before, and bring it back. So now if you add it, in the right place, of course. And then rebuild the geometry. And get rid of that so we can't see it in there. I think we've done pretty well. And I've got 10 seconds left, so I'm going to say 
thank you and goodbye and hopefully we'll carry on in the next tutorial and see you very soon don't forget to rate comment and subscribe goodbye